and welcome back to my channel. Today, <laughs> I'll be doing something very, very interesting. Well, to be honest, every single video, it seems like it's very interesting. Today is something different because I'll be unboxing my Krieger Juicifier. Okay, so basically I got a new slow juicer. It's been days sitting at a corner because uh, I've just been so busy doing other things. I needed to get some videos out first. Uh, but anyway, finally I'm doing my unboxing today. I am so excited. Hot, like seriously. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this detox or juice detox for a really, really long time. Because I've gained a couple of kg ever since I got married. Or basically ever since I got together with Dexter. I've done a full water fast for three days before or just basically water fast with a little bit of cheating with some vegetables here and there but I've never actually done like a full-blown just do juice detox I wanted to try to do that water fast again but I don't think I can do it why because when I'm getting older so food seems to be a little bit more important for me right now uh, I seem to get a little bit more cravings and I think right now it's like a PMS moment as well so yeah this is how it looks like this is how it came came with plastic wrap. It was really fast, like I think if you order it yesterday, it will come today. They are very, very efficient. Hopefully nothing breaks inside. <laughs> today I will just be doing an unboxing and also to do like a one-time test round kind of thing to see how it goes, to kind of have a feel of the, the juicer, the slow juicer before I actually do my three-day juice detox starting from tomorrow. I will be focusing a little bit more onto the vegetable side, fruits not so much. Because I know if you take too much fruit juices, it will be a little bit uh, too much sugar in your body. So technically if you want to kind of shed some pounds or lose some weight, um, it's not gonna help at all. I've done some research so I'm just gonna juice whatever that I feel is right and however that I feel that I like them. Let me just give you a brief of Prego. Prego Silent Swirl Justifier is actually a Malaysian local brand. Really really excited because I've always loved working with local brands but at the same time I'm also a little bit scared. I've actually been looking around for slow juices for quite some time now. I've seen obviously Korom, that's like one of the famous ones but it's crazy expensive and then we have the Kuvings one that's also crazy expensive and then you have the lower end ones such as the Panasonic is it Panasonic or Panasonic? I don't know, I don't want that and also you have the uh, Kint and then one of my friends actually introduced me to Prego and I thought why not just ask them and they are so kind enough to send me one for me to try and do videos and to show you how this works just a disclaimer there, I'm not a expert or juice expert or dietary nutritionist or anything I'm not that and also I've never actually tried any other slow juicer so I wouldn't know or I can't really compare much for you guys but what I can do is just to give you like an overview of what I think about this product and how I feel about going through a juice detox so yeah without further ado let's get into the unboxing I'm sure this is what you want to see right I think this juicer costs about eight 100 plus, 900 ringgit, between 800 and 900 ringgit. I think it's in between the lower end one as well, the other higher end brands. Let's cut this open. Okay, so this is how it looks like. When you first open it up, we get a recipe book, a user manual. Ooh la la. Whoa, this is heavy. See, see my new Crago machine. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is what is the world is this? What is this? Well, that's where the user manual comes in. Oh my gosh, it's tofu box. No wonder it looks so familiar because I tried making tofu in um, Korea and they use a box similar to this. This is the clear acrylic container thing for juice. Actually, not really. This is not for juice. This is probably for the pop jar. The other one with a handle is the one for juice. I know this is very important, but I have no idea what this is. I can't pronounce this. Alga, Uger, Alga, Alga assembly. Basically, this is the one that's inside one that's gonna be the one pressing your juice lah. E is strainer assembly. There's two of the yellow kind of thing here. One with a bigger hole, one with a final hole. So the final hole is supposed to be for better juicing. The bigger hole is supposed for you to make like smoothie or even like a frozen yogurt. This is the juice chamber. And then another important component of this whole slow juicer machine is the top part where you close and to put your fruits in. Cleaning brush. This one also another cleaning brush. Let's get cleaning, rinse some of these items and then we're gonna move on to the testing section of this video! I'm excited! 
push the sit wrong item <laughs> push the stopper into the slot at the bottom of the chamber make sure it's done properly otherwise it will cause leakage and also affect the juice extraction lock and secure dear god uh, this is why i don't like to assemble things i need to do it because i need to have no, no choice eh where's the red dot i can't seem to find out the red dot where are all the red dots okay there's one red dot here uh so there's a red dot here okay so you just stick there so i put this in right rotate and push the rotate and push the thing down so now we try to cover this with the red dot also okay, the red dots are all basically here like that Did I put everything in or not? Let me check first. Okay, so it actually has some recommendation uh, note here. When juicing long, hard, dense, fibrous fruits and vegetables, cut them into short pieces to minimize clogging for an easier cleaning process. Literally, I'm not going to listen because what I know is that I've heard you can actually put a whole apple in it, which is it kind of <laughs> reduce the amount of work that you need to do to cut an apple. So today, we're going to test this out. Basically, we're going to test out with the three oranges and also an apple that has washed and just kind of scrape a little bit off because it's get that wax on it it's already like 12 a.m okay let's see how loud this is oh my gosh it's actually so silent jeez okay 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 we're gonna start juicing right now <laughs> um, we're gonna start with probably the easiest one let's do an orange mess okay oh my god Jeez, this is so cool. Probably should just do all orange first. Let's let's do that. All orange first. We're gonna keep it very basic and simple and classic first because uh, we're just testing this out anyway. This is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, putting in an orange. Going down. See how it squishes this thing up. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. We're gonna start opening up the chamber. Jones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it dry? Still a little bit like damp. Let's see if I put back inside what happens. <laughs> Is it more juice like coming out? It, it does laugh. Kind of juice out a little bit more. Okay, let me stop and see. Oh my god, can you see that it immediately stop? That is a really good stopper. If you put back the pot a few more times, it gets a bit more dry and it kind of still juice out a, a, a bunch of juice. Awesome. I mean like at 12 a.m. in the morning, I can actually do this without waking up my husband and also my neighbors. It's a good investment actually. <laughs> what I've learned is that once after you juice, you don't immediately off it. You just let it go for a little bit more. You gotta let it sit for a little bit. It's probably a while now. This is so fun. It's so freaking dry now. Okay, look at the amount of juice that I got. 300 ml. Let's do a taste test now. Mmm, yum. Oh, it's so good. Seriously, you guys, slow juicer is gonna change your life. This is gonna change my life. Next up, we're gonna try with the apple. This is the one that's gonna scare me the most because it's a whole apple and it's hard. So we're gonna see how it works. One apple. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like stuck there. The reverse technique. It kind of pushed the apples up and then we're gonna go down again. Ah uh, yeah, oh yeah. That's why the reverse button is so important. You're gonna put in the next apple. really depends on what fruits you're using oh but apple seems to oxidize quite fast and apple seems to have a little bit more foam 
Whoa, that is some concentrated apple. It's really nice. So, and the best part about this Craggle Slow Juice is that whatever juice that you juice out, you can actually keep it in the fridge for up to three days. I don't even want to see the cleaning process or not because every time I check online, I want to see how easy it is to clean. To be honest, I have no freaking idea as well. So, I am going to be learning through this journey of cleaning my Craggle Juicer. Ah, okay, got it. Now, this one should be easy. This one just rinse it off. Next, um, I should be able to do this. Oh, there we go. And just rinse it with water. Next up, same thing, use my hand to scrape out all the dry bits or dry pulp. Scrub. Definitely so much easier to clean it with this. Get it out, get it out. Can't hold it back anymore. Okay, I guess so that's pretty much it for cleaning. I'm just gonna throw this out and then just gonna clean the brush. I'm gonna cut into the outro. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something out of this. If you're interested in buying a Crabble Juicer, I will put the link in the description box down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!